I mean, that's some interesting foreplay. I'll, I'll tell you that. Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into a really, really big anticipated one. We're finally bringing Akira Kurosawa to the channel. I'm really excited because, I mean, I, I've heard so many things about this director who sparked so many other directors' um, inspiration and uh, references within their films and I've seen a lot of clips in film school from this uh, brilliant director I mean he basically kind of like you know he segued uh, you know filmmaking for a lot of people that you guys know of today so I'm really excited to kind of jump into uh, more of his films but today we're gonna be starting off with a 1985 film called Ran uh, this was you know definitely hard earned and fought for on the patreon polls i wish you guys would have seen it if you guys aren't in the patreon but man this one went through poll after poll and it just kept gaining traction and followers and then finally it won the poll so here we are we're about to watch Rand for the very first time and i'm excited to kind of jump into it because a lot of people within the patreon community were telling me about how inspirational and how uh, incredible this film is and they were just saying like yo james you just need to do this so i'm happy to say that yes the day has finally come we're now going to be watching Rand. but like always guys uh it, it wouldn't have been possible and it, it wouldn't have been as entertaining uh to witness as this kind of fruition came to life if it hadn't been the patreon so again if you would like to be part of the patreon definitely check it out in the link below um, but like always guys that's not the only way to support this channel you can still support this channel by leaving a like comment and subscription if you guys want to do that and if you can't it's perfectly fine let's say for instance you don't have a sign in account and it doesn't allow you to do any of that you're cool just sit back relax enjoy your popcorn and snacks as i watch the entirety from first beginning well beginning middle and end of ran again guys if you want to watch the full length to uh, all of these films definitely check out the patreon link below i am specifically watching this one on amazon if you would like the best form of syncing them up so there you go I can already tell I'm in the beginning of the the first 30 seconds of this damn film and I can already tell I'm going to love it. <laughs> damn it. Oh god. Yeah. Again, I would this is probably going to be one of the films where I highly recommend the full length because I'm probably going to be, you know, saying some things throughout this but I can only fit it in the YouTube so sorry. <laughs> Bro, why does this remind me of of uh, Princess Mononoke? The beginning scene of that. Please tell me Princess Mononoke got inspired by this. Someone, someone, if this is true, oh my god, because <laughs> this is definitely Princess Mononoke opening vibes right here. <laughs> I just realized there's no subtitles. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> Let's put on some subtitles. That's what happens when you watch anime for so much. You just feel as though you know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't have subtitles on. <laughs> that is funny. Wow. I was just sitting here too as if I knew what they were talking about. <laughs> I felt like I did. <laughs> this film is gorgeous. <laughs> Yo, this dude's like, I am tapped out. I'm zoinked. I am tired. <laughs> you guys got me riding up here in these damn horses chasing after a boar. All right, I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> Respect. That's actually really dope. <laughs> That's actually really, really inventive. I guess a lot of things could be pretty handy once you have a samurai sword in your hand. <laughs> the intensity of this guy's face, man. Oh my god. And the delivery of his lines. <laughs> Wow, so they can't even believe what the heck this guy's even talking about. They're like, we are not used to you showing 
affection towards us. This is wow. This is wild, man. I think that's a brilliant choice of transitioning scenes to showcase time has passed. It's to, you know, shoot the clouds for me. That is awesome. That's a beautiful way to transition time. We're so used to those fades and those, like, dissolves. That was awesome. I think it gives a, a really cool aesthetic and character to the film, you know? Mm. It sounds like it sounds like whatever dream he had made him realize that all that fighting was just tiresome, man. Like, as you can see, this dude was knocked out in 40 seconds. He's like, I want peace. Oh, it sounds like he just wants to like be old and just check in on his on his boys. But I'm pretty sure his boy's probably gonna have some have some differences about this. I'll be honest, Sobro, like he's 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 saying some some really good stuff here. <laughs> he's kind of just saying, like, yo, you can't just do all of this, create this, and then just peacefully pass the baton off to us and pick up the work. I appreciate that. Wow. Yo, the, the lines here are crazy. Are crazy right now. I love the intensity of this with no music in the background, just wind. <laughs> and I still feel it. I still feel the intensity. These wide angles, like landscape shots, are framed gorgeously. God damn it. Like, what the hell? Like, this is crazy. Like, this is a real life. Miyazaki <laughs> look of like like I just it, it blows my mind and I, that's just insane. <laughs> Yo, she, see y'all ladies need to dip out of the conversation like that. If you guys could just say this as just a little thing that sticks with them and it just kind of kimono your way out of there. I guarantee you, he won't be able to say shh after that. Damn. Damn. Bro, did you see that? He eagle-eyed him from afar, bro. And he crept, he slithered back in his house. That was a wild, dude. What happened to the people? Did you get out of the house? Did you get Yo, this dude's having a lot of uh a lot of issues, man. Like he's he can't he can't seem to get rid of all the years he's been in this lifestyle. Even though he had a revelation and passed the power on to his sons, he still just can't seem to let go of the authority. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this dude has to be probably the most angriest looking dude I've ever seen in cinema. Oh my god. This dude is furious, bro. That was petty. That was very petty, dog. You have to kick you have to kick that out, man. Love how these people are just casually talking about just like overthrowing this entire place while also stealing his brother's wife 
and also dethroning his brother. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like that's just maddening, bro. <laughs> I think the best way to describe the shots in this film so far is that they are enchanting. I'm very enchanted with how this film is shot. It just feels like, you know, some of these frames are going to stand the test of time. They're very timeless. Wow. Come on. So he wants he wants her to hate him. That's this guy's very complex. I'm trying to figure out like what's what's going on with him. Like he's in total conflict. What an incredible way to shoot this too, because they're shooting primarily in the backs of these characters, where normally you would shoot in the front of them, especially when the light is facing towards them. There's this, again, there's this timeless feeling because of how the frame of this shot is being portrayed to us. Because now, instead, there's this golden highlight around these characters. I just find it so interesting. Damn. So currently he's just like, I, he, he's just getting tossed to the side like crazy by everyone. Like, <laughs> but then again, like, I'm not sure if it's because they're trying to, you know, screw him over or is it because of just all the cruelty he's, led over the land for years and you know you can't just cop out now really <laughs> bruh look at that that armor bruh look at look at just look at that armor like you can't tell me that these weren't the coolest guys in history i'm sorry <laughs> like they like they're just so cool man like I just don't understand how they were able to be this cool. Holy crap. Yeah, you're able to see like how cruel he really was back then through like this weird conflict PTSD induced thing that's going on with him. Like it's it's Insane. Wow. Wow. That's that is incredible. Oh my god. That was that was crazy. Like he was really tearing up there and then just had to I think that's literally if that Everything that's going through him internally could be summarized by literally what just happened there. That's another thing too. The blood in this is it's it's real, but it's there's this like superficial wetness to them. It sounds weird, guys. I I, I know it sounds weird, but like I'm trying to really emphasize why I specifically love certain things and like that's the only way I can describe it <laughs> like look at it look at that it's like someone just do paint but it looks aesthetically fitting for this film and I love that what on earth is going on here Oh my god. Everything just fell apart in like T minus 10 seconds. Everyone is just committing simpuku. That is insane. 
Everyone is just dying in front of this guy. Like, like this is a bloodbath. It's so wild that so much violence and chaos can be in a place like this. You know, like how gorgeous everything was and then just an onslaught of just blood. And I, I again, I love that the blood is just so saturated. Like it's paint. Like I'm pretty sure it's probably paint, like literally, which I think is awesome. I love that it's just so bright and it's sprayed everywhere. It's like someone just went like, <laughs> kind of like, you know, the writing. <laughs> Bro, look at that horse. Look at the armor. What the hell? Bro, this, this is crazy looking. Those scenes right there where he's just sitting and just the arrows with flames on them are just flying by him. That is that is such a such a beautiful scene. Like if you paused on that frame, that alone would tell a story. Wow. Oh my god. I don't even understand how one is even able to shoot something like this. Like he looks like a haunted ghost. Like he just he doesn't even look human at this point. He literally looks like an apparition that just came alive. Especially with the haunting music in the background, it's just kind of like a subtle growl. Oh, dude. This entire scene is is just I like I don't even know. I feel like I'm taking acid. It's just one of those moments where I'm kind of speechless. Like, oh my god. But I'm feeling everything. <laughs> Welp. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Lady Shu, isn't that the one who had his parents killed or something like that? Yeah, this is definitely him. Oh boy. Wow. Holy crap, man. Yo, th yeah. So th that's exactly what I'm assuming is that this guy um he he was just absolute he was an absolute menace in his in his days. And he caused a lot of pain and now he wants to kind of you know, live peacefully, but it's like you can't just do that. You can't no. <laughs> so everything that he's going through is like karma in a way. Yeah. I feel like that is just piercing into his soul right now. This guy is having an ego death to the max. He is on acid, but for real. He is having a journey of his own, but it is not a good trip. <laughs> it is not a good trip at all. It's a necessary one, though. Woo! No, oh, she was quick with it. She was freaking quick with it. <laughs> Yo, she said, she said, let me spit and then laugh in your face. Damn, she said, listen, I was here before all you motherfuckers came in, all right? I'm taking this sh back. 
and I'm gonna kill all you. <laughs> I mean, that's some interesting foreplay. I'll, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll tell you that. That's some interesting foreplay. It seems like it's fun. Yo, she really pimped him out in his own house. <laughs> you saw how he left and didn't say a word. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> yo. They really got my man just like slumped like a ghost in a bed of flowers. That is crazy. I love how the one person that's like, that's kind of just like saying, yeah, man, you're freaking batshit crazy is the Joker himself. <laughs> He's just sitting there picking daisies, too. Just like, yeah, man. I just find it funny that you're chilling in the same place you burnt down years ago. It's almost as if it's karma, right? <laughs> that is so disrespectful. <laughs> that is so disrespectful, bro. My man, <laughs> he's gotten him looking like he's in midsummer. That's crazy. I mean, it is pretty funny, man. I don't know. I think the best thing he could do right about now is, I guess, laugh. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. Bruh, this chick is crazy. Oh, my God. This girl is crazy. She's giving me Azula vibes. Oh man, she's she's nutty, bro. <laughs> oh my god, did he really bring the head? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, did he really kill her and put her head on salt? Like, are you for real? If I see that, I'm gonna lose my mind. Like You're about to watch the unboxing of your wife's head. Are you serious, dog? I promise this will not blow up on YouTube. Got, got it. I'm so happy he didn't listen. I am so happy because I was like, that would be the pettiest shit I've ever seen on this channel if that was the case. <laughs> this guy is dope. He's like saying, hey, yo, um, watch your chick. <laughs> Fire. He just said, hey, just to let you know, watch out for your lady peace so dope that was hilarious that was actually really funny <laughs> that's that is that is that is not funny that's not funny it's actually really effed up but just how that whole thing like come on you knew he was blind stop playing <laughs> You did not have to do that to him. You know he's blind. Why would you say over there? With... <laughs> Come on, man. Now nah, I seem like the bad guy because I'm laughing at a dude who had his eyes gouged out, man. You know, I, I got to be honest with y'all. When they say man's best friend, 
It's a lot of people would say dogs, and honestly, yeah, dogs definitely earn that title. But come on now, look at these horses, bro. Like horses have really been like man's best friend. Cause like, come on now. Like I, I don't know. I just found like that's that's actually really interesting. I mean, look at them. Like, <laughs> like that's that's majestic as all hell. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yo, homeboy really jumped. <laughs> See, he's he's having a a trip. Like he's going through all the things he's done in his life and reflecting on it, but like he's truly reflecting on it. Yo, for an old man, that dude can that dude can book it, bro. Like he, he was he was moving. Did you see his legs, bro? Dude is just running like forever. That's a crazy shot, dude. That's a crazy shot. That is an insane shot. They had to coordinate that miles away. This film is balancing so many complexities. Like, I don't, I don't even understand how to even properly word this right. This film is... Like, literally juggling so many complex storylines here, internal and external, all at the same time. And I find it incredibly, incredibly fascinating, especially to be told in in such a gorgeous way, you know? Like, this is a very sophisticated film. Wow. And he's, and he's looking right up at the clouds, too. Yep. Yep. That's insane. That's that's really insane. He's so he's so ashamed. Like he is and I get it. Like he banished him in the beginning of the film, right? But Sobodo turns out to be the only person that really loves him. Yeah, I totally knew it was a setup for sure. I'm like, dude, that's what I would have done. I literally would have done. I was thinking that in my head. I was like, bro, I would have just put sharpshooters to the side and just have them get blitzed. That's crazy. I mean, I know some of you guys are going to be like, no, James, that's not true. I can't prove that other than the fact that like I literally was thinking it in my head. <laughs> Me and Sobaru, maybe we're actually similar. <laughs> <laughs> Zoinks, you got played. That's what happened, bro. You are not as smart as you think you are. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. He came back to his senses. That was a crazy trip for him. Yo! Oh my god. No. <laughs> Dude, I'm done. I'm so pissed off, man. I'm so pissed off. I thought he finally was just able to just rest. Are you telling me that someone just sniped this guy? That's how he died? I'm so pissed. I'm perplexed. Several. Damn, he's going to start tripping again, Doug. That's crazy. What? That's super unfortunate. Saburo! Damn. God damn, bro. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
This, wow, this was a trip and a half. This, this was crazy, man. Damn, he is calling out the gods on this one. He is frustrated. I feel you, man. I'd probably be doing the same damn thing, man. <laughs> It almost feels like everyone is sharing the same trip as he. <laughs> bruh, is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is, bruh? Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Jeez, man. This is this is insane. Oh, every everyone is just messed up, man. Woo! Oh my god, dog. Yo! Everything like this is a madhouse, man. No one can be saved, bro. I like. I got a weird feeling like the cycle is just repeating, bro. Like it's just an another castle's being burnt. Someone's being killed, beheaded. This is crazy, man. crazy i wonder if i don't know I, i'm gonna save that to the end this is a crazy frame right here wow i had a i have a feeling like he's just somehow buddha throughout this entire thing that is the end of rand wow all right everybody we just got done rand Oh my goodness, it feels like I've I just been through a journey, like quite literally. I feel like I've been through a journey and I witnessed somebody who was going through a trip of their own. Um, that last scene there and the context that it was shot in, it made me believe that, you know, in a weird spiritual sense of this story, that the blind person was Buddha or some deity, you know, uh, just wow like i find it interesting that the last frame was on him whether that is true or not it's just me being uh just just me speculating and me interpreting uh the last bits of this incredible film as best as i can but this this film was incredible i mean i've already voiced a lot of the things that i love about this film you know um uh, I'll see if I can kind of recall what I really admired the most, um, which is definitely the framing of shots. I absolutely love how these frames were just set up. It was just gorgeous. It was absolutely gorgeous. It was just a a moving, a moving, uh, it was a moving play just formulating in front of me. And I love that the transitions had their fixations on the clouds and that somehow even tying in with uh uh like the, the the madness that the you know i guess you could say the the guy was going through and i think that's just it's just such a brilliant way to tell a story that i feel as though could have been told you know a couple hundreds of time you know there's no new new to uh no new news <laughs> of to us about like you know family betrayal and assassinations and you know hierarchy and all of that but the way that this was portrayed and how it was even able to turn the story inside out and make it an internal battle an internal conflict about this king who you basically you know he ruled over everything and did a lot of terrible things and now wants to kind of like rest peacefully and this journey that he was on was almost like a a a, a trick of the god saying like hey you can't just do that you caused a lot of pain and you need to understand that you can't just walk away from all the things that you've done 
karma is going to have its way whether you like it or not. And that's just how it is. And I think um, one of the lasting lines that one of the people said I found to be really interesting is how he said, no, it's not the gods laughing at us. The gods are just like they're they're kind of like abandoning us. You know, they he said that the humanity would rather live in sorrow than happiness and peacefulness. They would rather fight than live with one another. And, you know, I think I think that's yeah, I think if anything, it just went to show us that they were basically in hell. <laughs> You know, they, they are in hell. I mean, everyone is going through this crazy annihilation of themselves. You know, this this crazy self-conflict. Everyone is doing it. It, it. We just had a more insightful journey with this guy who, you know, because the story allowed us to. But and as a whole, as a unit, it applies to everyone. So, guys, let me know what your thoughts are about this. I love this film. I can't wait to be, you know, uh, looking into more of uh, Kurosawa's films. I am happy to even have this on the channel. So, guys, like always, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches because they give them free. Just like my time. Pull back in the 